Hi, today we are going to learn about high and BD questions. Question 6. Patient, female, 40 years, chief complaint, pain in the upper right back tooth region. Which of the following drugs when administrated intravenously is least likely to produce respiratory depression? Fentanyl, diazepam, thiopentyl, mefitripin and pentobarbital. Answer diazepam, least likely to produce respiratory depression. That is answer diazepam. Because at usual therapeutic doses, both opioid analgesic, that is fentanyl and mephedripine and barbiturates, thiopentyl and pentobarbital suppress the respiratory centers. Responsiveness to PCO2, that is carbon dioxide. This is not an effective seen with the diazepam at doses used in conscious, conscious sedation. So, answer diazepam. Question 7. Patient male, 12 years, chief complaint, pain in the right upper back teeth region. Which of the following has the most likely caused the patient's right posterior crossbite? A. Tongue thrust habit. A thumb sucking habit, unilateral constriction of maxillary right posterior teeth, bilateral constriction of the maxillary posterior teeth. Answer, unilateral constriction of maxillary right posterior teeth. Because in a mixed dentition, a unilateral posterior crossbite is usually a result of bilateral symmetrical constriction of maxillary posterior teeth. This constriction causes a lateral functional shift of the mandible. A unilateral constriction of the maxillary posterior teeth is uncommon. Answer unilateral constriction of maxillary right posterior teeth. Question 8. Patient male 3 years. Chief complaint pain in the right lower back teeth region. A healthy 3 year old child has just has a routine extraction of primary mandibular molar. Which of the following post-operative problems is most likely to occur? Prolonged bleeding, pain, dry socket or lip bite? Answer lip bite. Why? After an inferior alveolar nerve block injection, post-anesthetic biting of anesthetized tissue that is tongue, lip or inner cheek frequently occurs in young children. It is difficult for them to understand that they can hurt themselves by biting anesthetized tissue. So, answer lip bite. Question 9. Patient, male, 35 years, chief complaint, teeth completely dislodged from the socket. Two hours elapsed before a patient with an avalosed teeth was able to see a dentist. The dentist replanted and splintered a tooth and performed non-surgical endodontic therapy. Which of the following probably resulted after the treatment? Radicular cyst formation, condensing ostitis, external root resorption, chronic periapical periodontitis. Answer external root resorption. Why? The most important factor in managing avalized teeth is the maintenance of vitality of periodontal ligament fragments that are attached to the root of the tooth. Excessive extraoral time has been shown to result in necrosis of periodontal fragments. After replantation, this necrotized tissue promotes an inflammatory response in the Supra bony structures of the tooth result in extra external resorption to a greater or lesser extent. So, answer external root resorption. Question 10. Patient, female, 60 years, chief complaint, a few teeth present. The integrity of the floor of the antrum is at the greatest risk with the surgery involving the removal of torus plantitis, Nasopalatine cyst, maxillary third molar, single remaining maxillary molar. Answer, single remaining maxillary molar. Because of the option lips listed, the single remaining maxillary molar teeth is the nearest to the floor of the maxillary sinus. 
The remaining edentulous alveolar ridge provides a little bone strength against the alveolar fracture with avulsion of antre floor during the removal of this tooth. So, answer single remaining maxillary molar. Thank you.